love me what's going on guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know i have been gone for a really long time and i am super super sorry about it let me put this down because it's just gonna keep making noise I'm super sorry that I've been gone for so long. I've had so much stuff going on and I wanted to jump on here and just make a video really quick and tell you guys kind of what the deal is, what's been going on, what's changing, what's new, whatever. So I'm Shantae Marie. I'm a lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube. If you guys are new, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the fam bam. And if you guys are OGs, you know I love you. You know that I am so appreciative of each and every one of you. I've been slowly getting back into the swing of things like answering your guys' comments and whatnot, answering emails, and really just trying to make myself get back on the social media bandwagon because basically if you do YouTube, I feel like you can't just do YouTube. Like you have to like be Instagram, Twitter, Facebook savvy, all of the above, and it's a lot of work. So I just wanted to tell you guys exactly what's been going on. So first things first, um, I have surgery tomorrow. I have some health things that are going on. So my surgery is tomorrow. Once that is done, I feel like I can really jump back into everything. And I just realized that my neck is very pale. I don't, my chest-ish. I don't know why. Um, but um, once that's finished, I feel like I can really get back into the swing of things. And I might make a video about it. I don't really know. I might, uh, might put it in a vlog. I feel like I'm going to be doing way more vlogs on my channel because that's just, I like that way better than just doing sit down videos. Sit down videos are just not my jam anymore. I don't even like watching other people do sit down videos. So um, vlogging is going to be more of a thing on my channel. Hence why I said lifestyle vlogger. So I also was gone for five weeks at school. I went to ALC, which is Advanced Leadership Course. It's one of the NCOES schools that you have to do for the military in order to get promoted from E5 to E6. So I finally went and got that out of the way. It was five weeks long. It was at Fort Gordon. I would have logged it, but I got there and it was just ratchet. It was hell. I hated it. And I'm so thankful that it's over. I got my freaking 1059 graduated, came home like your girl's set. I never have to go back there fingers crossed ever again because I am reclassing from 25 uniform to 42 alpha. So my reclass is coming up very, very soon and I might vlog that because I feel like that's something that you guys probably would be more interested in and it's thundering. And yeah, so there's like military content that I want to put on my channel. I've been making lists. I've been looking at your guys' comments to see what you guys are interested in. And let's see, what else? So surgery, school, going to school. Oh, okay, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I'm very into crochet. I love crocheting. I've done it since I was about eight years old, and I've, I'm way better at it than I was then. Um, so I joined some, like, Facebook groups for it because... The person who taught me how to crochet is no longer um, with us, and I don't have anyone that I could ask questions. Like, if I have a pattern that I don't know what it's saying, or there's a stitch that I don't understand, I don't have anyone to ask. So I started YouTubing it, obviously, because I'm a YouTuber. I knew there would be content about it, and there's basically whole crochet communities. So... I joined a crochet community on Facebook and I got really involved with that and then I started thinking about it more and more and I really am trying to set myself up for what I'm going to do after I retire from the military. So I have decided that I'm starting my own business and basically I'm going to sell my crochet items which is really cool because they're handmade and like no, I don't expect this to be my full-time job but it would be really nice to have like an additional thing on top of what I'm already doing. It allows me to like be really creative and on top of that it's allowing me to really be my own boss which I'm all for. I honestly thinking about retiring from the military and having to go work in the civilian world again 
literally hurts my brain. Like, I hate it that bad. Like, I just don't, it's, I feel like I am better at being my own boss because I can't stand micromanagement. So, I can work somewhere where I'm not being micromanaged, but essentially right now, like, I do have a boss, but they let me have free reign over what I'm doing, which I really like. So anyways, opening my own crochet shop, it is going to be an online store. I do plan on trying to attend um, at least one market a year. So basically like a market is like um, craft fairs or just events where they need vendors. And I just think it's really cool. I've been doing a lot of research. Um, it's definitely not something that you can just be like, hey, I'm gonna start a job and start this store and blah, 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 blah. And thankfully I have YouTube to like know how the websites work and stuff. I am gonna be selling through Shopify and I wanna bring content about entrepreneurship to my channel as well. Um, I would just like include it, like trickled into some of my vlogs. Um, I made like blankets over Christmas and that's when I started to get the idea for this because so many people wanted to buy these blankets for me. It's like this blanket, this gray, this blanket right here is what I made over Christmas and people were just obsessing over it and then I started having ads pop up on my phone and like to buy a blanket like that at Target is literally like $500. So I was like, I can make these. So yeah, I've that's what I've been doing. Um, basically, I set hours for myself to crochet. So basically when I get off work, it's like I take, I guess what you would consider a break, but I try to make sure that I'm working at least like three to four hours every night on product and I'm gonna be doing custom orders and yeah and the website is coming along really well I am looking for a March, April May May <laughs> I'm looking for a May 1st um, launch day of the website so hopefully that works out because that's not very long from now it's Sunday April 28th so yeah that's basically all that I've been doing um I wanted to film this, get it up for you guys because I have surgery tomorrow morning. And that's basically it. I guess if you guys have questions, comments, video ideas, like things that you wanna see on my channel, let me know. Let me cover up my pale ass chest. And I appreciate you guys so much for sticking with me through this whole entire thing. I'm sorry once again that there hasn't been that much content on my channel, but don't worry because we are back and we're gonna get this show on the road. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. I'm trying to map out right now how many videos a week I'm gonna be doing. So if you made it to this point, comment below how many videos a week you feel like I should do on my channel or like, yeah, how many videos a week you want me to do on my channel. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.